Hi everyone, the season of gift giving is here, so it's the perfect time to learn how to make these mini drawstring gift bags. You can decorate it into any design or animal you'd like and it's perfect for stuffing with small gifts. For the materials, I'm using medium worsted weight yarn. The yarn can be in any color, and a 5mm crochet hook to match the yarn. Also, some optional colors of thread for decorating your bag at the end. This level is in between beginner and intermediate. Before we get started, make sure you know how to chain, slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, and double crochet. If you don't know how to do this, check in the description for some tutorial links from other channels. This video is in all US crochet terms. Let's get started with a magic circle. Hold the yarn across your fingers like this and wrap it around in an X shape. Hold it in the back. Take your hook and go under the first loop, then grab the second loop and pull it up. Hold the ring tightly as you take it off and reposition it. It's not secured yet. Once you've positioned it, chain 1 to finish the magic ring. You can see that there's a ring and a loose tail. We're going to crochet inside the center of the ring, so get the loose tail out of the way. Now let's get started with the first round. Make 10 half double crochet inside the ring. Yarn over, inside the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all 3 loops. 1. Make 10 in total. 2. Yarn over, inside the ring, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all 3 loops. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. 8 9 and 10 You should have 10 stitches on the magic circle like this. Now find the loose end of the ring and pull it tight to close it. To finish this round, slip stitch on the first stitch you joined. This is what it should look like. Okay, now on to round 2. Chain 1. We're going to make one increase in each stitch. That means two half double crochets in each stitch. Starting with the next stitch from the hook, make two half double crochets. One. Back in the same hole. Two. And that's our increase. Onto the next stitch. Keep making two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around until you reach the end of this round. One, back in the same hole, two, onto the next stitch. One, back in the same hole, two, keep going till you reach the end. I'm now at the end back to where I started, so I'm going to slip stitch on the second chain from the hook, since that's the first stitch from this round. In total, you should have 20 stitches in this round, so make sure to count to check. Place a stitch marker right next to the slip stitch we just made. This will be an indicator of where the round ends so that we know when to join next round. Moving on to round 3, chain 1. For this round, we're going to repeat 1 increase and 1 half double crochet. So 2 in this stitch, then 1 in the next. 2 half double crochet, then 1. We're going to repeat that all the way around. Starting with the first stitch, make 2 half double crochet. 1, back in the same stitch, 2. That's our increase. Now make only 1 half double crochet for the next stitch. Now we'll just repeat that. Make 2 half double crochet in the same stitch. 1, and 2. Now just 1 half double crochet in the next stitch. Keep repeating the pattern of 2 and 1 all the way around. Make 2 half double crochet. Now only 1. Keep going until you reach the stitch marker. I'm making the last stitch right where the stitch marker was. To finish off, I'm going to slip stitch on the first stitch from this round. And that's round 3. Place a stitch marker on the stitch right next to the hook. You should have 30 stitches in total. For the last round of the base, chain 1. 
we're going to repeat one increase and then two individuals have double crochet. So two in this stitch and then one, two. Two in this stitch and then one, two. We're going to repeat that all the way around. Starting with the first stitch, make an increase. So two half double crochet in the same hole. One. Back in the same hole. Two. Now we're going to make two normal half double crochet. Make one half double crochet for each stitch. One. Onto the next stitch. Two. Now you just have to repeat that pattern all the way around until you reach the end. Make an increase. Now make two individual half double crochet. One. And two. The next one will be two, one, one. Two, one, one. All the way around. Once you've made your last stitch on the place where a stitch marker was, slip stitch on the first stitch to join. And that's it for the base, you should have 40 stitches total. The next part's super easy. For the sides of the bag, chain 1. I accidentally forgot to chain 1, so please don't forget to chain 1 like I did. Now just make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're going to keep building rounds like this until it reaches the desired height. At the end of each round, don't forget to slip stitch and chain 1. Then continue making one half double crochet all the way around. Each round should have 40 stitches in total. I've built up 11 rows in total to get the height I want, but you can make it more or less to your own liking. This is what it looks like so far. Next, we're going to make the cinch row, which is where the drawstring will go in. First, chain 2. Now we're going to make one row of double crochets. Just make one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Yarn over, go into the first stitch, pull through. Yarn over and pull through only the first two loops. Yarn over and pull through the last two loops on the hook. And that's your double crochet. We're just going to continue this and make one round, then we'll slip stitch to close at the end. Yarn over, insert the hook, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops, Yarn over, pull through two. Keep going until the end of this round. There should be 40 stitches in total. I'm at the end, so I'm going to slip stitch on the third chain from the hook to join, since that's the first double crochet stitch. And that's it for the cinch row, we'll weave in the drawstrings later. We're almost done with the bag now. All we need to do is make two rows of half double crochet on top. Start by chaining one. Then I'll just make one half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Make two rounds of these and don't forget to slip stitch at the end of each round. This is how the finished bag looks like. As you can see, there are two half double crochet rolls on top of the cinch roll. Now we'll fasten off. Cut off the yarn and pull off the excess. Now just use your crochet hook to weave in the loose ends. Once you weaved it in, secure the end by slipping it under a random loop. To make the drawstring, just make a slip knot by making a loop and pulling the yarn through. Place your hook in the loop and tighten it. Now you just need to make many chains until you get a long string. Yarn over and pull through the loops repeatedly. Make sure to measure the string around the bag. It should go around the circumference of the bag at least one and a half times. Now just cut the yarn to finish it off. Make another one of these strings the same length. We're going to weave in the ends through the double crochet stitches that we made in the cinch round. Start off with one string. Take one end and start weaving it through two double crochet stitches at a time. So go under two stitches. Then go over 2 stitches, under 2, over 2. Keep weaving one end of the string under and over until you reach the end of the round back to the other end of the string. 
Once you're back to where you started, it should look like this. Pull and adjust the strings to get it to the same length on both sides. Now for the second string. Lay the bag flat so that you can see the other end. Start the second string in a spot directly opposite from the first string. So I'm going to start right here. Now just go under and over like before. Go under the same loops that the first string went under. Once you've reached the end, adjust it then tie a knot. Do the same for the other ends. Now we finally have the plain bag. It's decorating time. I'm going to make my bag into a polar bear so I'm starting with a magic circle for the snout. I'm using a cream colored embroidery thread that I doubled up for thickness, but I highly recommend using yarn instead because the thread was so stringy and it caused me lots of problems. Now that the magic circle is done, make 6 single crochet inside the ring. Go into the ring, yarn over, and pull through. Yarn over and pull through both loops. Now we'll make 6 single crochet in total. 3 4 5 and 6. I have 6 single crochet on the ring like so. Now just pull the loose end of the ring to close it. We're going to work in a spiral so no slip stitching at all. Just start making increases in each stitch. Go into the first stitch and make 2 single crochet in the same hole. I recommend using a stitch marker so that you can see where to end the round. Continue making increases. You should have 12 stitches in total for this round. This is how the finished snout should look like. To finish, the slip stitch on the first stitch to join. When you fasten off, leave a long tail for sewing, don't cut it short. I didn't have a long tail since this was the max length of my embroidery thread, but if you're using longer yarn, make sure to cut it off with a long tail hanging. The eyes are just 4 single crochet inside the magic circle. Once you have 4 single crochet, pull the magic circle tight and slip stitch to close. Again, I didn't have a long enough yarn, but you should have a long tail when you cut it off. The tail should be long enough to go around the circumference of the eye at least 2-3 two, two to three times. This goes for the snout as well. We will need this length for sewing. In total, you should make 2 eyes and a snout. To secure the pieces, Tie a double knot with the loose ends. Now I'm going to embroider the nose on the snout. Take a long piece of black thread and fold it in half to make it thicker. Thread your needle and start from the back to make a nose. Since we didn't put a knot at the end of the string, make sure you don't pull all the way through when you make the first stitch. Leave a little loose bit at the end like this. Then I'm going back down to the other side. Keep alternating from poking from the front and the back. I don't really know how to embroider, so I just did whatever to get into a nose shape. I tried to fill in any gaps peeking through the black nose. And here's my finished nose. Back to the back, I'm placing the facial features where I want them. Since I didn't have a long tail at the end of the snout, I had to use a new thread. You're supposed to have a long tail, so make sure you use that instead. Thread your needle and start sewing on the inside edges of the snout. As you can see, I'm inserting my hook in the spot right behind the stitches on the edge, so it will create a clean line. Don't sew right on the edge or it will have uneven edges. Stitch all the way around the snout going back and forth from the inside and outside. Make sure to end up on the inside of the back. To secure the thread, poke your hook under a random loop and pull the loose end under. Go back around the same loop and pull it under again. Before you pull it, grab a part of the loose end so that it forms a loop. Now just pull the loose end through the loop in your hand. That creates a knot. After that, tie off the ends if you have any and cut off the excess. For the eyes, I had two loose threads so I cut one off since I only need one. This time I'm going to use the long tail that's attached to the eye like I'm supposed to. The reason why we did the snout first was because we will position the eyes in equal distance from the snout to make it symmetrical. Thread your needle and start sewing just like the snout. Tie a knot at the end, same way we did for the snout. I did the same for the other eye. Now you're done with the face. We still have to make the ears and scarf. It's a cute polar bear design, but you can make it into a reindeer, snowman, or any other animal. 
This is the last element of the bag for the polar bear design. To make the ears, I'm starting with a magic circle. We're going to make a semicircle, which is really similar to a regular circle. Start by single crocheting 8 stitches inside the magic circle. Once you have it, pull it lightly to close. The difference between the semicircle is that we don't close the magic ring all the way. Now chain 1. This part is also different. Turn the work over. Flip it to the back side. We're going to make one increase in each stitch. Thus make two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should have 16 stitches in total at the end. This is how it should look at the end. We're not going to slip stitch or anything. Just pull the magic circle closed a little bit and we're done. This is our semicircle ear. But before we cut off the yarn, make sure to measure it so that it's long enough to go around the ear at least two times. This is the right length for sewing. Make the other ear the same way. Now we're just going to sew on the ear, right below the drawstrings of the bag. Go through the actual ear, then back down into the bag. Keep making stitches across like this, going from one side of the ear to the other. Once the ears are attached, tie the loose ends together to secure it and cut it off. This is optional, but I'm going to add a scarf on the bear. To give the bag some more structure, I'm putting a sturdy basket inside. This will make a firm surface that I can use to wrap my scarf around. If you want to know how to make this crochet basket, check out my other video. I made a scarf with this one row of treble crochet. I left a few chains at the end of the scarf for tying. I'm going to tie the scarf around the bag without sewing. I decided not to sew it because I still want it to be removable when it's not Christmas and I also hate sewing. You can totally sew it on if you're worried about it falling off. If you don't want a Christmassy vibe, feel free to leave out the scarf and just leave it like a plain polar bear. And here's a bonus example of a design you can do. I made this embroidered Christmas bag by using red and green embroidery thread. Check out my DIY soap videos if you need some Christmas gifts to fill these bags with. Thank you so much for watching and Merry Christmas!